All right, today we're going to bring a POE camera, and this is a great camera for businesses. You could attach it to existing DVRs that you have currently. Uh, just make sure you have a proper slot for it. It comes with, uh, if you don't have POE over your network or your DVR box, it does have a power adapter so you can connect it, and it comes with the actual cufflinks so you can set it up for weatherproof. All right, so it comes with instructions how to connect to it if you have a single connection uh you could actually add an sd card so you could record into the system but if you have a dvr you can record directly to the dvr and set it up prior to your network now to use it the first time logging in it's going to be a username and password you got to look for your ip they give you a default ip address that this goes to but if you have a different ip address on your network you're gonna have to search for it so let's go ahead and put it together and see how it looks so what we're gonna do here we're gonna set it up right in our entrance because we get our packages right here and we want to see a wide lens of, of the whole entire area here. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do a video shot and day and night. All right, so the way it works to mount it, you're going to have to remove this because there it has a mount underneath. So you have to twist it, twist it, and it comes off like this, the top, the bottom. So this is one piece. This is the actual cover. And here's where you actually have to screw in the screws in there so we're gonna go ahead and do the holes first and then put in the cover at the end all right there's the camera we're gonna do cable management right now but the camera's up there already now this is a great camera view right now if you guys can see but we're gonna show you a couple of things you can actually change the sub to lower down the resolution in case you're giving it issues on it you can even lower it down third party so there's different modes in here that you could change to sub streaming mainstream mainstream is a high definition one uh you could record and play back when you record from here either you could record to your sd card or if you want to record directly to your computer you can set that up too so we're going to take a look at it when when we do mainstream right now if you guys can see i'm going to put mainstream it's going to go high quality it takes a bit and then it just goes into high quality all right now just to keep in mind you have to have a high fast internet for this now let's go ahead and configure the system, all right? Right here, you have a playback. If you have an SD card, you can save it here. If you have a, a DVR connection to it, you can actually play back from here. You have alarms, different types of alarms you can set up in different times and channels. Configurations, this is where you actually wanna configure your camera, uh, either high resolution, different resolution, and, and so forth. Now you could change the LED lighting, and the flickering and so forth they have many different options that you have all right let's take a look at some of the features that the system has so right now i had to lower down the resolution because it's a 4k camera but the distance was a little bit off for me so i had to reduce the actual um the quality of it but just to 2k because it still looks great to begin with now it's sitting probably all the way in front of my house it's a couple of feet away from the actual router if you have an existing camera system that has a, your recording system you could plug it in as long as you have the username and password on this you could set up on any platform that you want all right, so here's my dvr receiver that i have all right i plug in the camera directly and I was able to find it here, if you guys can see. So we're gonna go ahead and set it up. My camera has a new camera, all right? In the camera, just make sure you add the admin, all right? And then the password, all right? One, two, three, 